um, comparing analysis uh, scenarios um, in SAM. Um, you should see uh, SAM now up on your screens. Um, and I just opened the uh, sample file for PV systems, which has uh, several different cases. And um, so this is one way to compare different uh, analysis scenarios in, CAM is, in SAM is simply to set each scenario up as a case. And then you can switch between the cases um, using tabs. Um, where each tab represents a case. And the benefit of this approach is that you can easily compare all of the inputs and assumptions um, uh, between cases. So for example, the first three cases here are for a residential, commercial, and utility um, system. And I can compare the financing assumptions for those three cases by setting the input page for each case to the financing page. And then when I switch between cases, I can see the financing assumptions um, and, and compare them. So I can compare the values. I see that the residential and commercial case um, have a similar set of inputs, except that the, the commercial case has depreciation, where the residential doesn't. And I, I can also compare, see the, quickly see that uh, the discount rate for the residential case is different than the discount rate from the commercial case. Um, and then if I compare it to the utility case, I can see that the financing assumptions for utility systems uh, include a bunch of variables that aren't available in re residential and commercial. Um, and I can also compare the, um, the values. Um, comparing cases in this way um, also allows me to compare results um, for different systems. So I can, for example, set up uh, the results page to display the cash flow graph uh, for all of the cases. Um, and quickly compare the cash flow across the cases. Um, the disadvantage to using cases um, to compare uh, scenarios is that you can't create graphs um, showing for, uh, a met how a metric varies over the different uh, scenarios. Um, in order to do that kind of comparison, uh, you want to use uh, SAM's parametric uh, analysis capability. Now, all of the um, Advanced capabilities that I'll be showing you today are accessible through this um, configure simulations button, which has an icon that our programmer likes to say looks like a pile of tires. Um, this is the configure simulations button, and that shows you uh, a set of buttons along the top of the window where you access the um, different advanced simulation options. So. Um, Parametrics is the first one here. That's the one that um, I'll focus on now. Um, so, um, so let's suppose that I want to uh, look at this residential PV system, um, and I want to uh, see how um, the output of the system would vary in for different locations. So I want to model the identical system um, in, in several different locations. So one way to do that would just be to uh, duplicate the case. That creates a new, um, a new tab with a second case. And I can just drag the tab over to reposition it. Um, things are a little slower. Uh, on my computer with the uh, conferencing software running. Um, normally it wouldn't, it would run a little faster. So now I have two identical cases. Um, and I don't need these cases anymore for this example, so I'm just going to delete them. And I can delete cases either by clicking the X on the tab or by selecting the case and clicking delete case 
uh, on the case menu. Um, so this is uh, my first case here is for the residential system in Phoenix. Uh, maybe I want to let's see what that case would be like, what that what the system output would be for that system in Seattle. Uh, so I can change the weather file uh, weather file on the climate page to Seattle, and maybe I'll change the case name case rename uh, to Seattle, so I can easily tell what I'm looking at just from the case name. Um, and then when I run the simulation, then I'll have results for Seattle and Phoenix. Um, and I can see that I get uh, about 4,300 kilowatt hours out of the system for Seattle compared to uh, 6,900 kilowatt hours for Phoenix. Um, so that's that's a, one way to com compare, uh, uh, to, to compare the output of the same system configuration for two different locations. Another way to do it would be to uh, use parametrics. Uh, um, so I'd go to the parametrics page, and I'm going to add a parametric simulation. Um, and then I'm going to add a parametric variable. So what a parametric simulation does is allow you to assign more than one value to any input variable. Um, so the steps for setting up the parametric simulation are to first make a list of the variables that you want, uh, to which you want to assign more than one variable. Um, and in this case, it's just one variable, the, the location variable, but I can do parametric analysis on any number of variables in the user interface. Um, so now I've added uh, the location variable, which is on the climate page. Uh, so that's this variable here. And then uh, the next step is to edit uh, the variable. So I'm going to assign two values to it, uh, Phoenix and um, Seattle, which is down under WA for Washington. So now I've assigned two values to the location variable. Um, by default, this parametric simulation is enabled. I can uh, Disable the, the simulation, so that, w that would store this parametric setup, um, but not run it when I click Run. Um, in order to make sure that Sam runs this parametric simulation, I'll in click, check the Enable box, and then click Run. And now Sam is going to run uh, two sets of simulations, one for Phoenix and one for Seattle. Um, and I can uh, plot various uh, graphs uh, showing results for both locations. So I'm interested in annual output, so I'll, I'll click the annual output versus location graph. And here I can see, uh, compare the annual output for Phoenix and Seattle. Um, this graph is missing a few things. For example, on the y-axis, I don't quite know what units those are by looking at the graph. So if I right-click the graph and click Edit, um, I can add a legend to the y-axis. Um, so this is annual output. Kilowatt hours. So, um, and if this Title um, is a little confusing with parametric one there. Um, so I can uh, pretty up my graph um, in case I want to use it in a report. And then if I wanted to uh, copy the graph uh, to a document, I could just uh, copy, use one of the um, two clipboard options here, which copies a, an image of the graph either 
um, exactly as it looks on the screen or scaled to two different uh, sizes in pixels. So this is 400 by 300 pixels and, or 800 by 600 pixels. Um, so th these are options for exporting graphs to um, external programs. For example, I can paste it into a Word document. So if I go back to Sam, copy it as an 800 by 600 image, and then paste it in Word. There's my graph. Um, I can also show the values in the table by clicking Show uh, Graph Data. So there's there are the uh, two values, <coughs> um, and I can copy that data by clicking Copy Graph Data, and that will copy the data so that I can paste it into either a Word document or into Excel. Okay, so that, that's um, those are uh, the two ways of um, comparing uh, cases. You can run tabs or parametric simulation. Um, I'll pause a moment for questions. Thank you. At this time, we will begin question and answer session. To ask a question, please press star 1 on the touchtone phone. Please unmute the line and record your first and last name when prompted. To withdraw the question, press star 2. Once again, please press star 1 to ask a question. One moment, please, while I listen to the name. Asabo, your line is open. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just wondering, is it, uh, is it, uh, can you do a comparison of different technology? Um, yes, you can do a comparison of different technologies, and uh, the, the easiest way to do that would be just to set up uh, a case for each technology. For example, um, here we're looking at a PV system, yeah. and so I can create a new case, and... Um, set up a trough system, for example. Um, so now I, have, I, now I can compare results uh, between a PV system and a trough system in the same file. Okay. And once again, if you'd like to ask a question, you may press star 1. I'll take a couple of the questions that have come through. Um, the written QA. Um, there's, a, there's a request to go through the CSP subject that I didn't have time to yesterday, and um, that's coming up next in the optimization example. So those of you who are online uh, for the parabolic trough example, um, that's coming up next, and it'll be coming up again in, in uh, a couple of the other examples as well. Um, Um, some of these questions I'll address uh, after this session and post on the website. Um, okay, there's a request to show how the parametric, how to add parametric var variables again, and I'll I'll walk through that ag again, and I'll also show you uh, the help topic um, that explains this, so you can refer to it after the session. So to add a parametric um, variable. You go to Configure Simulations, um, and then you click Parametrics, and then you click Add uh, to, under Parametric Simulation Setup. So Variables Add uh, to add variables to the list. Um, and then if you want to remove a variable, select the variable and click Remove. Um, if you press F1, uh, while you're looking at this page, uh, that'll open the help topic for parametric analysis, and it, it uh, also uh, explains how to add and remove variables. Uh, if you're using a Mac, the, uh, you press Command question mark instead of F1. You can also use this uh, help button at the top right corner of your window. <coughs> 